Hello guys, welcome back para sa part 2 ng ating solving quadratic inequality. Okay, so let's start. Uh, solve the quadratic inequality, x squared plus 8x plus 12 is greater than 0. Again, yung first step natin is ipafactor muna natin siya. Okay? So hanapin natin yung factors ng 12 kung saan yung sum niya is 8. So, lista muna natin dito. Uh, 12 times 1, 6 times 2, and 4 times 3. So, 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 plus 2 is 8. So, ito yung inahanap natin. Okay? So, therefore, yung factors nito is x plus 6 times x plus 2. Okay? Then, next step natin is uh, equate lang natin sa 0 yung mga factors. So, x plus 6 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. And solve for x lang natin. So, x is equal to, transpose natin yung positive 6, maging negative. Then, dito, transpose nyo yung positive 2, maging negative. Okay. So, ito yung mga critical values natin. So, ipaplot natin siya sa number line. So, negative 6. So, nandito siya. Negative 6. And, negative 2. Okay. So, nahati natin sa tatlong interval yung uh, number line natin. Para malaman natin kung nasan dito yung solution sa ating quadratic inequality, so check lang natin siya isa-isa. Okay? So, unahin na natin itong interval natin dito sa my left, uh, sa left ng negative 6. So, pili lang tayo dyan ng isa, kahit saan dyan. Okay? So, para hindi kayo mayraban, piliin nyo lagi yung pinakamalapit sa critical value. So, piliin natin yung negative 7. So, x is equal to negative 7. So, para ma-check natin, isa-substitute lang natin itong value na to sa uh, quadratic inequality natin. Itong naka-factor no, na quadratic inequality. So, x plus 6 times x plus 2 is greater than 0. So, isa-substitute natin siya dito sa x kung magiging greater than 0 pa siya. Kung masasatisfy niya yung uh, quadratic inequality natin. So, palitan lang natin ng negative 7 yung x. Negative 7 plus 6. Negative 7 plus 2. Okay? So, simplify natin. Negative 6 plus, negative 7 plus 6, negative 1. Then, negative 7 plus 2, negative 5. So, greater than 0 ba siya? Negative 1 times negative 5, magiging positive 5 siya. Negative times negative, positive. So, greater than 0 ba yung uh, positive 5? Yes. So, true siya. So, true. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung interval na to is solution siya na uh, quadratic inequality natin. Okay, so, meron na tayong isang interval. Then, check pa natin yung ibang interval. So, dito naman tayo sa may uh, gitnang interval natin. So, again, uh, pili lang tayo ng number between negative 6 and negative 2. So, kahit saan dyan. So, negative 5 na lang, no? So, palitan naman natin to ng negative 5. Okay? So, erase muna natin to. So, yung negative 5 naman yung i-check natin. Palitan naman natin yung x ng negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 plus 6 uh, times negative 5 plus 2. So, check natin kung greater than 0. Negative 5 plus 6 may being positive 1. Negative 5 plus 2, negative 3. Okay. Positive 1 times negative 3, negative so, greater than 0 ba yung negative 3? Hindi. Kasi, negative number siya. Okay? So, false to. Ibig sabihin, yung interval na to, hindi, sa, hindi siya solution ng ating quadratic inequality. Then, lastly, ito namang interval natin sa right. Okay? Yung nasa right na, negative 2. So, pili tayo ng kahit isang number dyan, kahit anong number dyan. So, pili na natin yung 0. So, kung may 0 ka sa interval, lagi mong piliin yung 0 para uh, madali ka lang mag-evaluate. Okay? So, 0 yung try natin. So, erase ulit natin to. So, so palitan, naman natin, palitan naman natin ng 0 yung x. So, 0 plus 6 times 0 plus 2. Okay. So, 0 plus 6, 6 lang yan. 0 plus 2, 2 lang. 6 times 2, that is 12. So, greater than 0 ba yung 12? Yes. So, true siya. 
So therefore, the interval na to is solution na ating quadratic inequality. So, itong dalawang interval na to yung solution na ating quadratic inequality. Now, uh, paano natin siya isusulat in set notation? So, ganito lang. So, dito muna tayo sa my left, no? So, yung numbers from negative 6 papunta ang negative infinity. So, pag isusulat natin siya, so again, tinuro na to sa uh, part 1, no? Pwede tayong gumamit na, meron tayong dalawang choices. Pwedeng bracket, pwedeng parenthesis. Okay? So, titignan mo lang yung inequality symbol. Pag greater than siya, pag less than siya, or greater than, yung ginagamit natin is uh, parenthesis, open or close parenthesis. Na pag meron siyang pag less than or equal to, or greater than, greater than or equal to, so meron siyang bar dito na may, may equal sign siya, ginagamit natin is bracket. Open or close bracket. Okay? So now, yung inequality natin is uh, greater than lang siya. Greater than lang siya. Wala siyang equal sign. So therefore, parang this is yung gagamitin natin. So, risk ko muna ito. From negative 6, so parang this is yung gamitin natin, papuntang negative infinity. So negative infinity. And then, parenthesis. Yung negative infinity, lagi siya ang parenthesis na. And then, yung isa pa nating solution, uh, union. Okay, gagamit tayo ng union kasi may gap sila. Hindi. May gap yung dalawang solution natin. So, dito naman sa may right natin, from negative 2, papuntang positive infinity. So, so again, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis. Kasi, greater than lang yung symbol natin. Okay, wala siyang equal. So, parenthesis. Papuntang positive infinity. So, positive infinity. Then, parenthesis pag infinity. Ito na yung solution natin sa interval notation. Now, pag i-graph mo siya dito sa number line, ganito lang siya. So, from negative 6 papunta dito, mag-draw ka lang ng circle. Now, dahil uh, greater than lang siya, yung ginagamit naman pag greater than lang or less than, less than or greater than, open circle siya. Pag less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, Solid circle yung ginagamit natin. Ibig okay? sabihin lang yan, included yung uh, solution. So dito, so dito greater than siya, so open circle na. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasali yung negative 6 sa solution natin. So draw lang tayo ng arrow papunta dito. Papunta ang negative infinity. Then dito naman sa may right, again open circle lang. Then papunta naman dito yung arrow. Okay? Ganoon lang sa number 9. Okay? Comment below guys kung nakapagawin yung video mo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.